Since I was a small child, koalas have always been my favourite animals. And now to be doing my PhD on koalas, it's pretty amazing, kind of surreal. My name is Billy Ross and I do my PhD on the ecological responses of the northern quail to feral cat baiting in the Pilbara. So we use um, 18 trapping sites across each. And this involves putting out large cage traps um, around the bases of mesas, on mesas and also in riparian corridors where quolls also den and use these roots to disperse around the landscape. And every morning we check these traps to see what we've caught and then take all the necessary samples which we need to look at things like stress hormones, so which is being done through hair samples, taking tissue samples to look at their paternity and maternity patterns and how different individuals disperse through the landscape. It's kind of complementing the work being done by WA Parks and Wildlife, um, but adding some more detailed investigations into how quolls respond to cat management. So this is a northern quoll. It's Northern Australia's largest marsupial carnival. Um, they've become quite rare in the past 20 or 30 years due to cane toads coming across. But also due to uh, changes in fire regimes and feral predators um, being able to hunt more easily in more open, air, uh, more open landscapes. So the uh, cat batting program is not uh, impacting quolls in any negative way. This has been seen over the past two years um, through the use of biomarkers in the baits and then analysing the quoll's whiskers. Feral cats are a serious threat to Australia's biodiversity and this project hopes to uh, understand how they use this landscape, how they kind of forage and where they go, what they do. And by doing so, we hope to um, optimise the ways in which cat management is done across large parts of semi-arid Australia. Um, so the Pilbara is a very interesting place in terms of its uh, ecology and biodiversity. It's a biodiversity hotspot, you could say. It's quite unique, it's a very complex um, mix of rocky mesas, um, rocky escarpments and spinifex plains. The Pilbara is the last stronghold of the northern quail as cane toads haven't yet reached here. So it's important to manage um, these areas now so that quolls have the best chance of surviving once cane toads do make it down the coast from the Kimberley. So next year I'll be putting GPS collars on both cats and quolls to see where they go and how they interact spatially. This will reveal um, important information about cat behaviour and help to inform the baiting program to hopefully maximise its success. I'd like to acknowledge um, the support of Rio Tinto, API, WA Parks and Wildlife and the NESP uh, Threatened Species Recovery Hub. All of these groups have provided very important support for my project and without their help and assistance uh, my project would not be possible. Poles are just a very important part of our country and yeah, they need our help. <laughs>